let's talk about measuring the wet film thickness of coatings and the dry film thickness of coatings. Why is it important? It's checking and recording of wet coating during application and dry coating after application. It is the verification of correct coating application thickness that should be conforming to the product data sheet or coating system specification. Protective coatings are engineered to fulfill certain performance criteria when applied according to very specific film thicknesses. Dulux product data sheets always include a minimum and maximum recommended wet film thickness and corresponding dry film thickness. As previously discussed, the volume solids component of a product indicates the percentage of the coating that will remain on the surface once the coating's full curing process has completed. A coating's volume solids of 50%, if it's applied at a wet film thickness of 100 microns, then 50% of that product will evaporate, leaving 50% of the product in the dry film build. This is why there is a clear variation between the wet film thickness and the dry film thickness. Volume solids percentages are clearly identified on all Dulux product data sheets. A wet film thickness gauge is a very simple and quick tool for measuring the film thickness of wet paint and should always be used during coating application. It's helpful to provide a guide of how much coating is being applied to the surface and the applicator can then estimate an average coating dry film thickness. It's also very helpful to manage coating use and to check for under and over application of the coatings. Under application of coatings is a common cause of coating failure. Durable STE is such a great product to use. It's high volume solids and great thickness allows it to be applied by brush roller or spray to a mild steel surface. One of its great advantages is, is they can be applied directly to abrasive blast steel or steel that's been power tool cleaned and protected from the elements such as oxygen and moisture. And you can see how the coverage there is quite good. And I'm basically making sure that all the surface is completely coated in to remove oxygen and moisture from the substrate. So what I've got now is a wet film build. I don't really know how thick the paint is when it's gonna be dry. So what I'm about to use is my wet film thickness gauge to see what type of dry film thickness I'm going to be ending up with. Here we have a wet film thickness gauge. And in this particular instance, I'm looking at the teeth that range from 25 microns to 152 microns. Keep in mind, this is a measurement of the wet film thickness. In this particular case, I've applied some durable STE to this panel, and what I want to confirm is what the wet film thickness is. So, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that the gauge is level, and I'm pressing it firmly through the coating so it actually meets the mold steel substrate. I can see that the wet film thickness, when I'm looking at the teeth in the comb, if durable STE is 84% volume solids and I've achieved touching the wet film thickness tooth of 102 microns, if I take off roughly about 15%, then that means when this product dries, I'll have 15% solvent evaporating from the film, leaving approximately 80 microns of durable STE coating on the surface. A wet film thickness gauge is a rectangular piece of metal or plastic with teeth of various lengths, each representing a different film thickness. Press the comb firmly onto the wet surface so the longest teeth are hard against the substrate. Pull the comb away and note the longest tooth with paint on it and the next tooth without paint. The wet film thickness lies between these two readings. Wipe clean and repeat on another two areas to get an average reading. The wet film thickness gauge is so easy to use and can be purchased from Dulux Trade Outlets and the Inspirations Paint Store Network. Dry film thickness gauge. This is a critical step that measures the dry film thicknesses of a single coat or coats to confirm that the coating has been applied at the recommended or specified thicknesses. This check is to confirm coating application compliance and dictates coating performance, appearance and overall durability. What I have here is an ultrasonic dry film thickness gauge. This is a very important piece of equipment that all applicators should have to ensure and check that they've applied the right amount of coating to the substrate. All protective coatings products and specifications specify a dry film thickness of the coating. And the reason why that's so important is to make sure that the thickness of the coating 
is within the parameter that's required to suit the environment and to protect the substrate. This particular gauge is very handy because it comes with a probe and all you need to do is press the probe against the surface, whether it's ferrous or non-ferrous metal, and there are also gauges that are suitable for concrete surfaces, timber and plaster. So we have an on button at the face of the gauge. Prior to using the gauge, it's good practice to zero the gauge to make sure that it's accurate and working. And as you can see, you've got the zero. I have a sample of a coated piece of steel which has a three coat system applied to it. And it's as easy as making sure that you press the probe against the surface until you hear a beep, you raise it and lower it again, and what will happen is that the gauge will provide you a micron reading of the coating thickness. What you'll see is if I go along this panel, we have the primer plus an intermediate coat now. So you'll be able to see a higher film bill. So now I'm measuring the primer plus the intermediate coat. And then, in this particular case, I'll also have a top coat, which is handy. And I should be able to get the highest reading at this end. It's important to use the probe correctly. If you use it on an angle or you do not put it down successfully, then it'll give you an incorrect reading. The purpose of these probes is to achieve an average reading. So pinpoint readings are not normally recommended or advised, but to get an average of the overall dry film thickness. This is an important QA step and procedure and must be recorded in the applicator's QA data. As you can see, I'm achieving readings here of 450 to 500 microns in a protective coating system. The protective coating system is a protective layer to stop moisture and all sorts of contaminants getting through the coating system to the mild steel substrate. This is completely different to a decorative system which may be applied in coats of between 20 and 30 microns per coat. So in a three coat system using decorative coatings, the average dry film thickness could be 60 to 90 microns or 70 microns. That's not going to give you much of, much of a barrier in a corrosive or industrial environment. This is why it's essential to use protective coatings over mild steel and galvanising and concrete in industrial and corrosive environments where it's absolutely important to have the right film build, the right coatings and the right surface preparation to ensure that the surface has long-term protection in accordance with the standard. Not doing this testing means that the applicator or person responsible for conforming to the specification or the product data sheet recommendations is taking a guess as to what's been applied and what the dry film thickness is. For any further information, contact your Dulux Protective Coatings representative.